Hello dear viewers, welcome to my channel Science to Technology. In today's show, Rocket Monday, we're going to talk about Artemis has already failed from NASA. So let's dive right into it. Now, be mindful, this is update directly coming from NASA. It was done on Thursday, uh, Tuesday, basically 1st March 2022. Now, uh, the conference was classified as status update and review of NASA's Artemis initiative. I have provided the video down below from the government itself. It's a very long video, but you should watch it. Now, uh, the people who are in that conference were kind of basically top people, as they say, and they had actual insight, meaning these are not like uh, external review done by external board of directors of like, you know, uh, some money agency or tax division or things of that nature. It was like people from NASA and people from Congress like basically important people basically whose word should be taken very seriously and basically people whose head will be chopped off if you mess things up so people with actual insight uh, came together now be mindful this was a government and like you know very posh kind of scenario so they were talking in too much uh, like you know butter language basically there was like you know instead of like yeah we cannot do that it was like you know it is completely unsustainable fancy way of saying you cannot do this so you get that point like the more you, you watch that uh, conference overall it's very long uh, the more you realize the news is not good it's flat out not good under no circumstances even the people working in nasa knows uh, they are aware of it that this simply cannot go on like it is it's like a house of cards that's going to collapse at any moment in time so this was serious update now essence of those updates are is SLS is trolling right now because SLS is a remnant of space shuttle project so space shuttle was built now space shuttle failed on all deliverables meaning it's supposed to be cheaper it failed it was too expensive it's supposed to be very high cadence meaning you're supposed to be able to launch very quickly you failed it's supposed to be safe it ended up you know causing more life uh, loss of life than Apollo project and uh, you get that point like basically everything is supposed to do it failed horribly so uh, they had to discard the project however one thing uh, one or two things were very good in that uh, meaning rs25 was quite amazing achievement of that project so they wanted to do something with that so they built constellation project and that project was scrapped and constellation project was uh, was running at such a good pace that they have completed orion capsule orion capsule is a remnant of constellation failed project now after constellation was scrapped uh, this happened during um, obama administration and uh, the, the the idea was sls was still created now be mindful constellation and sls are kind of the same thing they are ra rather than like you know letting a space shuttle die uh, creating something from scratch they are like trying desperately and claiming like it's gonna be cheap it's gonna be fast which it did not and that's why obama cancelled it. it's like dude you are saying it's supposed to be cheap you have already consumed billions of dollars you have not delivered any of the deliverables and you're still behind schedule and not to mention even if you succeed you still have an outdated technology so fundamentally that's why constellation was cancelled sls supposed to be like bigger better and like again it has more oomph to it and it's supposed to be cheaper because again a lot of work was done and uh, by basically the capsule part has already been taken care of however it also failed flat out at this point in time the money it has consumed already i'm not talking about the money it's gonna consume in the future money it has consumed right now it's so goddamn much that it's like lol flat out it's supposed to be cost effective but it's not and current estimate that is way too conservative which even the people who are talking is like yeah, i think that, yeah that's that's a bit too conservative it's around 4 billion per launch to give you a context of that that's much much higher than space shuttle and it cannot be afforded flat out it cannot be afforded in current economic scenarios it's like nope and be mindful they have removed many core elements also they, yeah they have orion they have a space suit uh, which mind you behind schedule uh they have rocket which mind you behind schedule and like a lot of things consider it's like four billion is like dude you'll be lucky if you can get it in four billion so reality is this sort of thing has been done in past where like you know a project that was like you know a bit behind schedule a bit over budget was get a, given like emergency funds especially during the times of war if they really need that puppy to work right now uh iraq war uh, some weapon development were expedited ludicrously basically the weapons that supposed to take seven to ten years to develop they developed it in like you know 12 months or something like that like the, there has been some amazing project it has been done in past if you need that right now however this puppy is failing on that also it is consuming money equivalent to those projects but they are not delivering on time it's behind schedule so it's over budget and behind schedule is like what's the point and moon landing is still missing be mindful the four billion dollar the core element it's missing it does not account for how the heck you're gonna land on basically moon be mindful this is just for artemis one not two not three not four just one so reality is flat out sls cannot go on the way it's going on right now it's only a matter of time like at worst case scenario it's gonna be launched one time and second time when even though uh, government congress have uh, ordered for it there will be like you know what let's cancel it now be mindful this sort of thing has been done with our uh, saturn 5 like complete saturn 5 had been scrapped so it's not a new thing oh they have ordered so they have to use it now 
no it, it has been done in the past so i would not be surprised tomorrow is like by the time let's say artemis 2 happens it's like you know what let's just kill it let's just end it this amount of trolling simply cannot go on no government has enough money to keep trolling like this then we come to the core reason why SLS became a troll is because Boeing is started trolling. Now, first time uh, me hearing this is like, you know, directly government official is calling out is like, dude, you messed up. Now again, butter language, but you get that point. Like flat out, they're saying the worst contractor performance ever recorded. What does that mean? That simply means NASA is always used to the fact that they give the money, people deliver them the product. Like for example, if you are, want to understand uh, James Webb Space Telescope, it has mirrors. How the heck those mirrors are positioned? It They require actuators. Those actuators are bought from third party. You can literally go there, Google it, find out the patents and like, yeah, this is a product, physically, produ uh, physically made product that has been sold by other company. It has been done with ISS, it has been done with every single NASA product project same has been done with uh, saturn 5 boeing was a very uh, core component of that so uh, this was a common thing like nasa knows how to do this it's like you know we give you money you deliver a spot within a certain amount of time within a certain amount of tolerance but this time they have flat out lol we're not gonna work why lol and that really really hampered the whole project and the primary reason why they were giving is poor planning and poor execution it's not that boeing engineers cannot uh, do what this like a simple job like this inherently is a simple thing fundamentally like there is no rocket science into this rocket science went into rs25 and it's already built that part the part that requires the most amount of complication most amount of hoo-ha so to say is already been taken care of it's like it's just a goddamn tank you are genuinely going to tell to uh, some congress people it's like yeah a tank that be mindful the design is like more or less similar to space shuttle tanks yeah we are taking like billions of dollars for that seriously yeah i don't know that flat out the poor planning and poor execution is really really bad now nasa also got bitch slapped because of this because somehow nasa awarded 87 percent of all award fees some <laughs> somehow it's like uh, they basically they have the core contract money and they have award money on top of that award as in like you know incentive and all that somehow boeing got 87 percent of that how how the heck you pay someone incentive when they are billions over budget not million billions over budget and years behind schedule again i could get that like you know what oh, they went over budget to do it in uh, you know schedule time because things happen again that would have been acceptable they are behind schedule and over budget why are you giving them incentive again this project should have been cancelled very long ago it's like dude dude you are not delivering it's like uh, first two three years they should have figured it out like you know boeing you are trolling the end i'm cancelling the project finding a new partner for this this should ha not have gone on for this long and the fact that they somehow they got that 87 percent and this like like literally coming back to bite nasa it's like why the heck you are paying someone incentive it's like that that's unacceptable and they have narrowed it down that they are the primary reason for inflated cost and let me give you another bo bonus news on that the solid boosters they have expiry date they have been built so long ago they are reaching that before they have even been fired to go to space let that sink in like like literally at this point in time because the binder agent they use it has a degradation point meaning it starts to self-degrade again it does not mean like at this date it becomes poof it simply means it's like you really do not want to use this anymore especially if you have human on top of it so you get that point like think of it this way that's the reason why uh you know uh, this sls goes boom simply because everything works but you know uh, the boosters have been degraded from the inside which you cannot check analyze or do anything about it that's why they get best before date on that on top of that and it goes boom so the fact that Boeing is trolling so honestly, it's like, you know, I'm going to troll you. What the hell are you going to do with it? That's really bad for NASA and not to mention for Boeing also because uh, Boeing is not understanding the consequences of doing this. Remove the court cases, remove all that jazz. They can easily deal with that if that happens, which most likely will not. This simply shows that any uh, national agency, any weapons agency, all those agencies, they will simply flat out not do business with Boeing for it. This is like, you know, uh, people say you know, sometimes uh, second generation uh, contractors, contractors, I'm saying, basically, board of directors, most of the time they focus focus on their pocket it's like you know how can i make money and they destroy the company reputation this is what's happening here because it's not the fault of engineers engineers know what they're supposed to do it's just like the team execution is like oh lol bro like this is bad like flat out how the heck a company that somehow helped build saturn 5 went to this is beyond imagination this is like boeing trolling it's like lol then we come to the worst aspect of it. NASA directly started trolling. Now you have to understand that NASA many times uh, have done this. Sometimes they have succeeded, most of the times they have failed, but this is, should not be done if the project is important, but they somehow thought, uh, uh, you know, moon landing is like, you know, cheap enough that we can just troll it around, is that they are trying to trick off what we call partial funding, meaning we're gonna uh, ask 2 billion out of them. You know, if you go to any Congress uh, person, a budget committee, and it's like, you know, we need 2 billion for SLS. They're like, just shut up and take my money. That's 2 billion, that's not that much but here's the 
you only asked for partial funding meaning you in that contract will say you know what we need we'll need a bit more but we'll tell you now that creates an impression is like you know two billion ah, we expect a bit more like okay one billion to finish it up but reality is like two billion was just just to lay the foundation just just to start just to get the ball rolling like what happened with uh, james Webb space telescope it should not have been a 10 billion dollar equipment it's not worth 10 billion dollar and not to mention if you, you're gonna create a plan and you're gonna say we're gonna need this much money and if you keep exceeding that simply means you are incompetent or you are evil so in those sort of scenario that simply means if you are giving a time frame if you are giving a budget frame it has to mean something little bit of over budget little bit of behind schedule is acceptable you cannot say oh we are 10 times over budget and 10 years behind schedule that is not acceptable and this uh, now you may be like why nasa is doing this well many times they have tried to do this so uh, they ask for little money so it does not get rejected right out of the gate and uh, they will hide the true cost and after some uh, you know it starts to come nearing the mission point they will ask for more now why the heck they will ask for more when it can fail simply because it will become too big to fail basically that's why James Webb telescope was not cancelled it's supposed to be cancelled by the time it reached like you know 3 billion mark it's like dude your original estimate is just like throw it away all the instruments that have been developed for this puppy can have been used for other things so they could have done that like that should have been done that's how you're supposed to you're not supposed to like keep burning money away now this puppy is cheap this puppy is cheap yes 10 billion dollar cheap puppy but what sls is doing be mindful this is current estimate is 53 billion from 2021 to 2025 that's not gonna happen that's like what the bleep 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 kind of money that's not gonna happen that's why i specified like nasa uh, flat out this conference is like if you remove the water it's like yeah it's not happening it's flat out not happening no amount of congress is gonna support 53 billion now 53 billion may not sound that much but you have to understand nasa gets around let's say 20 to 25 billion let's assuming two point positive numbers but that may not sound too bad you know 20 billion per year but here's the deal majority of that money is pre-allocated meaning uh, a large sum of money is going to iss uh, second large sum of money is going into national services meaning uh meteoric services and then gps and all that like there is a pre-booked package basically your salary is coming in and you have loans to pay so to say and majority of that money is called so how the heck you're gonna get that 53 billion now you understand that 53 billion is not happening flat out not happening so trying to hide this puppy into like you know budget somehow we're gonna hide it yeah not happening not happening just no no that's that's a flat out no and here's the interesting part that 53 billion that's without human moon landing part of it now if you have followed a recent advancement in uh, artemis project you would have noticed that artemis did not have an actual way of landing on one that's why they opened a contract for that now again normal and they wanted to have two people uh, basically two people developing two systems they, they wanted that they wanted redundancy so in case one fails to deliver they would have second backup awesome but they did not do that the reason was congress did not give them the money and the reason why congress did not give the money is that congress is starting to detect this is the second james webb telescope and this puppy is like you know only 10 billion this puppy may end up costing 100 billion so flat out uh, the money is being tightened and tightened and tightened more tightened so flat out the fact they are tricking basically nasa is trying to trick congress into partial funding it's not a good look that's flat out wrong it's like you cannot do that and that's why uh, only SpaceX got the winning bid because they asked for 3 billion they barely got like around i think 800 million and at that kind of cost only uh, SpaceX was be able to deliver something so flat out that trick is really not good on top of that artemis is not a formal program now you're like wait a minute what the hell yeah apparently paperwork uh, like the how the project has been created is very sloppy it's like it's something that we are doing it's not a, like uh, apollo was like absolute thing apollo done this is the project review this is like how the heck we things and go Artemis has never done that. So fundamentally, Artemis is just law. It's like something that NASA does. Again, it is a legal thing. It's not illegal or like, you know, non-paperwork. It's just like they took a different route. Those routes should have been chosen for low uh, risk equipments. Meaning, let's say you are developing a small satellite. You take that sign over. Yeah, it's something that we are delivering. And again, NASA does hundreds of things that does require this sort of like, you know, very quick uh, turnaround. So they do that. Not for Artemis. That should have never been done. That simply created a scenario where Artemis total project cost could not be analyzed. And they are trying to do that. So Artemis cost can be hidden now be mindful government is trying to cut your cost because you have messed up royally and somehow you're trying to hide the true cost of your current project which is important what the hell you expected is gonna happen like this was very very clear in the conference like dude we have to have a solid goal we cannot just keep trolling like that so outside estimate meaning the people whose sole job it is just to analyze the money part of it it's like 93 billion dollar would be spent by, uh, from 2012 to 2025 that's why I said this puppy can reach 100 billion. It's not a, it's a flat out no-go scenario. Fundamentally, Artemis can only be launched once or twice. 
and again uh, you may be like hey didn't congress order for more uh, more sls well the reality is that was partial funding so they don't even know what they have ordered so that's why the fact sls is a troll the fact uh, boeing is trolling the fact nasa is trolling all of these is creating a scenario where basically artemis is a lol at this point in time if artemis ever succeeds and again the only reason it could succeed only probability where it could succeed is like china actually starts to send humans onto the moon and that could fire uh, you know let a fire under the you know people's ass and that the point is yeah money yeah let go of the money you know let it cross 100 billion let it cross 150 billion i would not be surprised if it crosses that kind of time and uh, during this conference they were talking about one thing very importantly it's like they have no goal it's like what the hell are you doing uh, i don't know we are building sls why are you building sls moon mission again then you should build moon landing system no 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 we think we are building it for uh, lobg it's like why 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 so fundamentally everybody is trolling here now what we can expect in the future well reality is it's serious it's very serious flat out nasa is losing support of congress and everybody is losing support for it because here's deal from outside public oh, nasa's budget has been cut what the people who are signing that paper they're like dude you asked for 10 billion dollar and you got 12 billion dollar and somehow you are still behind schedule and still un non deliverable it's like that simply means you do not know that simply means you are incompetent your budget cannot keep trolling like here's the people say now like uh, james have took so much time because like you know it had new technology all the technology took <laughs> was done very quickly very on time technology was done like done done everything like people who had to develop the uh, the spectral array systems and all that just done done that was done as early as 2015 it's like done take it and go home what took time it's the goddamn sun shield so you get that point like you cannot simply say oh we are developing especially with sls everything is from space shuttle control c control v it should have been easy so fundamentally that will create a scenario where more projects will cancel and this is one of the darker side of james Webb telescope it has already cancelled many of the small scale projects simply because nasa had to fun funnel money somehow they wanted to make it too big to fail and it did become that but consequences many multiple small uh, observatory projects have been cancelled cancelled like done gone scratched so this creates a very very bad scenario and this also means budget cuts become inevitable because at some point government will realize like you know right now there is hype around it it's like yeah we're gonna do this and like after a while it was like dude you are consuming 150 billion dollar which we do not have so that is very uh, inevitable at this point in time it's almost thanos level destruction and they will become dependent on private players and that is tragic for something as prestigious as nasa to become dependent like not only for this uh, and that's the reason that's why i specified they did not knew what they're supposed to do they somehow allowed something as stupid as lobg to be created which be mindful that uh, flat out borders on incompetence flat out like flat out somehow you are selling a space station that will cost more than iss and somehow it will be occupied only one month out of you know 12 months good luck with that is something that like literally every aspect of that pro project is like yeah we're gonna build it and then we're gonna hope that it costs so much that government will not cancel it so yeah that does not work multiple times that's why i specified this sort of over cost overrun it's not acceptable everybody is trolling so at this point in time this dude may become the only dude who is supporting basically whole of usa and that should not happen again i do want there should be more dudes than this basically for example uh jeff bezos i really want his blue origin to work because again if blue origin starts to get their act together starts to get the be4 engine working then we have vulcan rocket which should give usa another standing ground right now russia is like no 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 bro we, we remove our uh, engines you get stuck again that's why you want multiple options but rather than multiple option at this point there is only one dude so this is serious this whole project if you remove the butter from it it's like yeah we messed up now what does that mean that simply means if major changes are not done quickly i mean before this year is out all those major changes have to be like they have specified like we have to clarify what the heck exactly we want to do who the heck we want to foot the bill why the heck we are footing the bill what are we our long-term goals like everything has to be sorted out we cannot just lol or troll like to give you a worst example of that think of the troll that uh, isa is doing why the heck isa does not have a human mission no project like they have nothing for the amount of billions of dollars that they are consuming they should be able to bitch slap us cosmos they're like bro get out just 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 get out they have that kind of money but because they do not have the co uh, combined focused goal of it and that's why this dude is so successful this has combined focused goal it's like he wakes up i want to go to mars build me things that let me get closer to that day one go to mars day 300 go to mars day 700 go to mars so that's why he's successful while every tom dick and harry else is just trolling around now if this is not done which i have a very bad feeling that it will not be sorted it will not be fixed we will mark this era as the downfall of nasa 
बिकॉज अगेन गवर्नमेंट हैज अ लिमिट ट्रेजरी हैज अपर लिमिट वेर दे कैन नॉट जस्ट लाइक पीपल माई से ओ इट्स ओनली वन परसेंट ऑफ नेशनल जी डज नॉट मैटर इफ यू आर बर्निंग मनी अवे नो बडी हैज दैट काइंड ऑफ मनी लाइक ओ जस्ट बर्न द मनी अवे ओ जस्ट कंज्यूम हंड्रेड बिलियन ऑन ए आउटडेटेड रॉकेट सिस्टम दैट इज गना गो बूम नो बडी हैज दैट काइंड ऑफ मनी सो फ्यूचर इज वेरी डार्क एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम एंड माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द होल सिचुएशन इज लाइक रियली बैड सो प्लस यू वट हैपन्स इन द फ्यूचर सो दिस वॉज माई प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन वाई आटमस हैज ऑलरेडी फेल्ड Hopefully you have liked it. Learn from it. In that case, please click the like button, share it amongst your friends. That will help me a lot. If you didn't like it, didn't enjoy it, I urge you to press dislike. Press it twice to show me extra disappointment. Please leave a comment because I do try to reply to all of them. Subscribe. Press the bell icon if you're free. And as always, thanks for watching.